welcome to Travel Beans. I'm Emma, that's Alex, and today we're experiencing winter van life in the Austrian Alps. In the previous video, we shared our surprising start to winter van life. From frozen locks, water tanks and pipes to getting snowed in. In this video, we enjoy more of the highs of winter van life in the Austrian Alps and test out the variety of winter activities on offer. It's not a van life video without coffee in the morning. Yeah, but show them what the inside of the van looks like. Yeah, but this. they're not supposed to see the reality, are this they? This is the reality. Mess. Mess everywhere. Stuff everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> the beans living in absolute filth. <laughs> but when you have views like that, I don't mind. We decided to stay in the same spot as where we had been with our friends who have recently left. It's minus eight still, but the sun is out and it's so strong. I love how the snow just gets caught on all the branches, but because it's warming up here now, it's all starting to fall off the trees. I guess just when it melts to a certain point, it can't hold itself anymore on the branch and it just falls. For the first time in a while, we had absolutely no plans. So we headed off to the nearest town to see what there was to do nearby. We went into the tourist information office in the town of Filsmoos and they were so helpful that we've decided to just stay here for the next few days as there's so much to do. We are starting our day going up a chairlift, which it feels weird after skiing on and going up the chairlifts. It feels weird going up without skis on our feet. Our plan for the day was to do a snowy mountain hike through the woods. Oh, this is mad. <laughs> Look at that. I've spotted what looks a little bit like an animal hide and the child part of me cannot resist going even though the snow looks quite thick I have to get up this little treehouse thing you don't know. <laughs> and that is probably the answer to my silly question I should not do it holy crap come on mate get yourself out of that it's so deep Oh, and it's so fluffy. It looks so good. I'm so sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is cold. Very cold. Oh, oh. You win this round, cool animal hide. Yes, you win this time. Oh, there's loads of snow in there. It's like a real life Narnia. We're in Narnia, it feels like. They should make ski lifts where you have to walk through a wardrobe at the end. Yeah. And then you get opened up to this. They're missing a trick. <laughs> Do you guys ever imagine what it would be like to come down onto our planet and see it through aliens' eyes? Because I always do. This is weird, right? frozen rain hanging on trees visually as well like i feel like if you saw this on a planet in star wars you'd be like wow that's a really cool looking planet yeah but this is our planet and we just get to hang around and see it for <laughs> ourselves isn't that great yeah The one thing we haven't liked about Austria so far oh. is it seems to be about 75% of businesses will not take card and they only take cash. Apart so we went to supermarkets. We know how to do issue in a supermarket. So we went to go and get some food at the top of the mountain and it's cash only and we realised we actually don't have any cash. <laughs> so half of it's our problem because we don't learn from our mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> but now we're trying to make our way down the mountain and we don't have a card to get down which it might be necessary. Yeah, so fingers crossed the beans don't have to walk all the way down the mountain. 
We were hoping to toboggan down. This is a toboggan run that takes you all the way down into the village and that's what we were wanting to do. Unfortunately, they only accept cash and there's no way of getting cash from up here. So we are gonna cross our fingers that they'll let us get a chairlift down. If not, the beans are gonna be walking. Luckily, we were able to get the chairlift back to the town, enjoying the views and the fresh mountain air. Making it down to the bottom with some time to kill before our next activity began. This is not something I expected to do while we were here. We did a horse-drawn carriage. Lovely. How romantic. It's like real Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Once we were adequately tucked in and ready to face the sub-zero temperatures of the night, we set off through the adorable town, enjoying the lights, and continued on an hour's ride into the snowy wilderness. I wish the camera could do justice about how light it is when you're going on the horse because it's the moon so is so bright and there's so much snow, it's so reflective. It just glows in the dark. We had an hour and a half stop at a cosy inn where we thawed out with hot drinks and traditional desserts. I'm so full. <laughs> I feel like I could just slide down the slope so <laughs> quite happily. I'm very warm and I'm very full. I'm a wee bit merry. Before we go any further, we would like to say a big thank you to today's sponsor, MyHeritage, for making this video possible. MyHeritage is the number one family history service in Europe where you can build your own family trees and discover your origins. After our recent Scotland series, we had so many people, mostly Americans, <laughs> telling us about their Scottish ancestry. And it got me thinking, I don't really know anything about my ancestry. Completely clueless. So I have actually started really getting into my family history. Even if you don't have access to family records, they have 15 billion, billion. historical records. So making links is quite easy with their database. But I want to show you my favourite feature. You can restore photos, you can enhance them, you can even even animate them but this is the first time I'm gonna be doing the colorizing one and no way I've never seen my grandparents in color at that age oh that's got a little goosebumps Aww, that's really lovely oh I'm welling up a little bit that's really sweet these photo features are worth joining my heritage <laughs> just for that and then you can add these photos to the family members in your tree right I have to take a picture of this and send to my parents. I don't think they'll even remember their parents in colour. <laughs> also, when I say their parents, I don't mean that my parents' parents were exactly the same parents. It's just that, one set of parents. That's secret we keep you out of the family tree. <laughs> if any of you guys at home are interested in looking into your family history and would like to test out all of the awesome features that My Heritage has to offer, you can have a two week free trial with access to everything. And then if after those two weeks you're still interested, you can have 50% off. We will leave link down in the description make sure to check it out we recently learned about how the snow looks different depending on the temperature that it freezes at and how different all snowflakes look depending on the temperature and it's weird to actually be around the snow long enough to see the change and the difference so now looking at this snow it's got like these huge crystals almost like poking out of it. It's so pretty and sparkly. It's so cold. Can I put it down now? It's weird how it's like a lump. Before it was so powdery you couldn't even hold it like in a ball. Like we tried to have a snowball fight but it was just throwing snow around. <laughs> <laughs> After a lazy morning we got ready for another day of winter activities. Phil's moose! Phil's moose! We we're gonna, gonna go to Phil's moose! Phil's moose! Phil's moose! What you gonna do, Phil's moose? Oh wow! I'm, that was impressive! <laughs> nice! We've decided to give Tobogganoo a go. We were so gutted we didn't get to do it yesterday. So we've got a pocket full of cash and we're not afraid to use it. 
after our little taste on the mountain in the last video, I've been wanting to do it so much. And <laughs> yeah. Some people are commenting saying that we needed to go on these rodelbahns. I don't know if that's what how you say it, name, but what a word. <laughs> and it's these designated toboggan runs oh. down the mountainside. Coffee is my favourite part of the morning, but we've decided to wait until we're on top of the slopes to have our coffee this morning. Just which a minute. Is quite a treat. I realised that you've stole my hoodie. I can't <laughs> steal your clothes. Yeah, it's because I like the smell of three day old man who lives in a van. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds you of me. It reminds, it reminds but I'm always close enough that you can smell me anyway. I, everyone can smell you, mate. <laughs> We decided to splash out this morning and have breakfast on the slopes. I've gone for fried potatoes with fried egg. I mean, it, it looks like what it says on the tin. Al, on the other hand, has gone for something which, in my opinion, isn't really breakfast food. I cannot go through a menu <laughs> and see the word sausage and chips. And I have to order, it doesn't matter what time of the day it is. <laughs> It's 10 a.m. mate. I'm not conforming to your rules about when I can have sausage and chips. <laughs> there is part of me that's slightly apprehensive, just in that we had little, well, no, we had zero control the last time we did this, and that was just on like a little baby hill, whereas we're doing a full on toboggan run now. Yeah, down the mountain. Watching, 30 seconds of a video on YouTube. But we now know how to, to stop. You just pull up, pull that up. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and you dig your heels in. So you pull the wood up towards you and you dig your heels in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I turned around and saw he's coming straight into me. I have no idea how to stop unless I throw myself in the snow. <laughs> that was so good. We can't not go back up and do it one more time. <laughs> I think we've got enough time, but the trouble is you've got to walk and it's at least half an hour to go back up to the top again, <laughs> but I think it's worth it. I could not recommend enough doing a rodel barn and tobogganing down just because you really do feel like a kid. I defy you to not feel like a kid going down one of these. And the views are outstanding. You have mountain views all the way down. A clear day like today, you've got blue skies as well. Oh, so nice. And you've got the snow falling behind you yeah. everywhere. Out of the trees. As we talk, it's <laughs> plummeting down. The 40 minute walk was well worth it, flying down the slopes and grinning ear to ear. Once we were done, we made our way back to the van where it was just a short drive to our next activity. We are waiting at a hotel in the mountains to do an activity which has never crossed our minds once. We've never even heard of it. Never heard of it, never crossed our minds. I believe the name of the activity is biathlon, which is essentially a combination of cross-country skiing and shooting. Alex and I have never shot anything before. So what is this? It's my first time in, on YouTube channel. Yes! yes. <laughs> this is some uh, homemade apple pie. Amazing. Of course. Thank you. And this is some Topfenstrudel. It's also homemade with vanilla cream. And the Topfen came from the other side from the hills. Mm, I absolutely love any dessert with apple in it. So I'm sure this will be no different. That's incredible. Do you want to try this one? Oh, so apple-y. So this is like Austrian cheesecake. Oh wow, you're gonna love that. 
Once we were fueled up and ready to go, we grabbed our skis and made our way to the slopes to practice the first part of biathlon, cross-country skiing. It's really hard. It's like you have to try and forget everything you know about like normal downhill skiing because it is different. Even the skis, they feel nice and light on your feet, which I like. But the moving is just so foreign to me. I can't believe that cross-country skiing is harder. I, naively, I thought, look how easy that is. You're just sort of going across the flat yeah. land. But I'm actually getting quite frustrated that I'm not naturally talented at it <laughs> straight away. Oh, and, uh, poor Alan. and the frustrated ego part of me just wants to throw in the towel <laughs> and just be like, F your stupid sport. <laughs> but that said, Emma's better than me and I can't, I can't handle that either. <laughs> so it's one or the other. We definitely found it challenging, but continued to practice and slowly got the hang of it or at least managed to stay upright. Now it's for the second part of this sport, which is the shooting part. So our instructor has been over there setting everything up for us. We just need to cross country ski our way over to shoot things. I've never shot anything in my entire life. Ah, oh, okay. okay. So like this. this way? Yes. <laughs> this is perfect. <laughs> we first practice without the skis so that we could get the hang of the shooting part. Okay, we're gonna have a look and see how good our target practice was. Oh wow, yeah. Emma! You, you, I destroyed you, you, it. You, you did very well. Nice. Yeah. This one is uh, is okay. <laughs> but, all that Call but, of Duty uh, didn't do so well, did it? Okay, Emma's. That's crazy. I'm still happy it all stayed in the circle, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from that one. Oh, that, that yeah. wasn't me. Oh, okay. <laughs> We then had to learn how to shoot whilst wearing skis. This is so unnatural. How did you get up from this position? <laughs> this is the next question. <laughs> okay. okay. I did it. You did it. <laughs> It's competition time, Alex versus Emma. Let's see who can hit the most targets. We're having a mini race now to get our heart rate up to see who's gonna be the best. No! <laughs> Increasing the heart rate is an essential part of the sport, with competitors often skiing 20 kilometers, stopping to shoot at intervals along the way. Beginner's luck seemed to be on our side and we managed a draw. That was so much fun. <laughs> I could definitely recommend it now. I... After the initial steep learning curve. Because he managed to hit some targets, so he's happy now. I he's good guess. at something. <laughs> that is literally why I had a good time. <laughs> My happiness was dependent on a little pellet going through a tiny hole. Yep. <laughs> we now have to go and cross ski back. But what a backdrop to end this video. So gorgeous, another amazing clear blue day ending with a lovely sunset over the mountains. The variety of activities that you can do here in the Alps is absolutely mind boggling to me and I am loving trying new things all the time. We'd like to say thank you to Phil's Moose Tourism Board for setting us up with these amazing activities. Leave in the comments, which one would you like to do if you had to choose one? And also, which activities have we not done, which you have and you would recommend? Let us know down in the comments. Make sure you give My Heritage a go with the 14 day free trial. The link is below. And nothing left to say, apart from the usual like, subscribe, comment. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time and beans out.